All right, my friends, let's talk about the insanity that is the average social security benefit is $1,500. Oh, it's such an insane freaking thing that people use to say that to discount social security and to scare you to death and thinking you're never going to be able to retire because you don't have enough and social security is going to be there. Man, the reason the average social security benefit is so low is two things primarily. One, it takes the average social security payment and they divide it by the number of, a, of a social security recipients. Right? That's it. I mean, you got freaking, you got a hundred dollars, you got a hundred dollars of social security paid out. You got 20 recipients. The average benefit is five bucks. What does that have anything to do with you? Well, of course, nothing. It has nothing to do with you. That means nothing for you. It means nothing. Then you take a lot of these people who are on beneficiaries, been on benef uh, benefits for a long time, you know, 20, 30 years. So their initial benefit back then was, I don't know, 800 bucks at the full retirement age. And now they're getting paid 1,500 bucks. It's doubled over the course of 20 years. Um, but that's, <laughs> their benefit was only 800 bucks to begin with 20 years ago. Whereas, I mean, you can see what I'm saying? It's just, if it has nothing to do with the differential between age has nothing to do with, I mean, literally, it's just that simple. It says we take the number of beneficiaries, uh, divide that into the number of benefits paid, and there you go. All right, on top of that, on top of that, has nothing to do with spousal, has nothing to do with survivor, has nothing to do with your own benefits. So I mean, it's just it's a silly thing to even, it's like, oh my goodness, but even worse, the worst thing, though, is that <laughs> this one drives me insane. 90% of beneficiaries take their benefit at, uh, at full retirement age or lower. I think it's like 45%, if not more, take it like a, almost a majority or certainly a, uh, the bulk take it at uh, less than full retirement age at 62, all right? So 90% of beneficiaries take it at full retirement age or lower. Uh, the, uh, the, the largest number of what people take their benefits is at 62. Inherently, they're getting a 25 to 30% reduction in Social Security benefits because they took it early. So to sit there and say, look, you can't expect to get much on Social Security because the average benefit is only 1500 bucks is so misleading. It's just, it's, it's ugliness on steroids and you should not fall for that because what I just said has nothing to do with you it doesn't separate people the age that they're taking it. It doesn't separate when they took it. It doesn't separate the fact that they're you know 88 years old. They took it when they're 62. And they only got 800 bucks a month then. It doesn't take the fact that most people take it before the full retirement age. It, it just says this is the number of people taking it. This is what we benefits we paid. Ah, it's just so doggone frustrating to me. And I. Uh, don't fall for that crap. That's just fear porn. And uh, it don't fall because it's not. Look, it might be none of this. Uh, when it comes to retirement planning, the only thing that matters is what you can do. Nothing else matters. It matters not what everybody else is doing. It matters not what that guy got in the stocks. It matters not what that lady gets for retirement. Everything revolves around you. It matters not what the average health uh, cost is for the average retiree. It matters not what the average 401k balance is. None of that crap matters. The only thing that matters is how much you spend and need to spend in retirement. That is it. Nothing else matters. So stop thinking in averages. Well, the average here, the average there. That doesn't mean crap, man. It doesn't mean crap. What you have to know is what is, a, is important to you. What is effect is on you. And we know like Medicare Part B and Part D and uh, uh, Medigap, we know those numbers pretty definitively. I mean, for sure, 145 for Part B, 45 for Part D, roughly 150 to 200 for, for uh, Medigap. So you know that. On that, who cares? Then you got, who cares what the average is? Then you got to figure out everything else that's related to you to include your Social Security benefit. All right, just stop with the, stop falling for the fear point. Hope this helps. We'll see.